Welcome back to another video guys, in this time this is the first Ultra League battle and my new team is Charizard in the lead, Cressilia as a safe switch and then Shiftry, just because there are so many Swampers out there plus it's also pretty good against your Athena, Shiftry as it is and I have rank 1 for the Ultra League so might as well just use it, even though it was expensive and um, so in this set I go, basically I went 9-1 um, which is awesome, I did not expect that to happen but that's after I have tried so many teams and failed pretty bad and I dropped like, I don't know, hundreds of points and way over 200, I think like 270. So now with this team I'm trying to climb back up. So let's go, oh yeah, I'm at 2062, that is pretty low, that's lowest I've ever been. Anyways, so let's start out with Charizard and this is not so good, not so bad lead, it's look how much damage it takes out of my health, that's just unbelievable, however, I don't know if they notice, if Blast Burn goes unshielded, they are out. It's a one shot, it literally. Watch. Booyah! Did you see that? So, yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Charizard is like literally, literally the Pokemon. And I'm able to, almost able to get the Honor Blast Burn. But yeah, so Charizard is um, squishy in a way. It depends what you are facing. But um, it, it's Blast Burn, it's just crazy. And it generates really quickly. And then, of course, Cresselia is just super tanky. So now this is a pretty cool matchup for me. Um, I can just go Moonblast because I'm hoping for a debuff, and if it debuffs, then great. But um, I'm still trying to figure this team out, and he swaps out right away. This is not good for me, but I can swap out, so I'm just going to go right into Shiftry. But here's the problem that I realized, by the way. So this is also not so great because Shiftry is very sensitive to poison. So it can, if it has Sludge Wave, it one-shots me. So I have to shield because I want to make sure that my shift free is alive, but it's Dark Pulse. So that makes me think that he either baited me or he doesn't have Sludge Wave. Maybe, but Gunk Shot would do the same anyways. But now he is lower, so I think the next attack that he's gonna throw would be also Dark Pulse, but you never know with those snarls just literally catch up on you. I never cannot tell with a muck what it is. So now I'm just literally, but luckily he swaps out, so now I'm here with shift free again. So I'm just gonna shield because Shiftry it can put out some great amount of damage. I swap out and just go back into on the charge move onto my Cresselia, which is really good against look the dynamic punch do nothing with Mewtwo. So I can just go with the moon blasts. And this must have got done deal for it. But oh my god guys, what about you? I don't know about you, but these matches are way longer than in Great League. Especially if you're facing Cresselia, Cresselia or Lapras. Lapras leads, they are like super in the mirror I mean they are super long so anyways so now all that we have left is the muck I should be able to moon blast it good other problem did he have a shield I didn't see it um no shield okay perfect so there goes the first match we'll win so yeah that was pretty relieving that I was able to do 9-1 but um but uh, like I said before that oh pff, there was a match when I didn't win anything for seven so I lost seven in a row that was pretty bad, but I used like Weavile and some crazy combination. I went to oh, and one that I th I thought would do great did horrible. So what I wanted to do, what I used this is actually Giratina, Giratina, I mean, and uh, and Cresselia and Charizard or Shiftry. Sorry, first I did Shiftry, and that did not work out at all because they had a Snorlax and they had a Muk every single time. Snorlax and Muk, so I was shut down, and I was like, great, so this is not gonna work. So it took me a while until I figured out this team and I'm just gonna stick with this team for, for a little bit until I can at least climb back up because we dropped lots of points. So Articuno, it's, it's not so bad, not so great. I mean, it, if it debuffs you, which it does every single time, it's not good. So after this, you would have to swap out um, with Cresselia because it's pretty debuffed. But he used Hurricane, which I did not expect, which just took me out. But now Charizard comes in and Charizard against Articuno is really good. And he swaps out and I instantly swap out to my Shiftry. Which, watch how much damage it does, just one foul play. And it generates so quick. And Dragon Claw, Shiftry can tank I think three of them total. But if it has uh, Dragon Breath, that's a different story. Because Dragon Breath really adds up. But he doesn't have Dragon Breath luckily, so we, so we are uh, resisting their damage. But I'm gonna shield just to keep it alive because I think it has a Swampert in the back. I'm not sure. Did it have a Swampert? I'm not sure. And I'm charging over. I charged too much. I should have... Uh, I got too cocky there. I should have just thrown it. Because now my shift is dangerously low. But I should have just thrown this foul play. 
And let's see what comes back in. Trying to throw just one more leaf blade, just to be safe. But yeah, Swamper comes back in, so I have to shield because I have nothing else against Swamper. And then just throw that leaf blade, but he swaps out and I swap out instead of throwing it, so that was a great. And then now, all I have to do, well, bless burn it, try to bless burn it twice. But he shielded the first one, so, but now he has no shields. So this gonna obviously one-shot Charizard, which is unfortunate, but Shifty also gonna one-shot his Swampert. And I should have the energy ready and go. Oh wait, no, because it died. Wow. I didn't, uh, during the game, I didn't realize that either. I was like, all right, I have shit ready to go with the energy. So as you guys can see it in the video, I was literally tapping in the bottom right corner because I was like, all right, I got this. And that's what I lost. So that's why I become 9-1. Look at that shiny mug, that's nice. So um, it kind of looked like it was washed multiple times and it lost its color. So I guess it's not that nice. <laughs> yeah, it looks like they used too much um, bleach or something. Anyways. Um, so if it doesn't go on shield, it does a huge amount of damage, as you guys can see, and I can just spin it down. But um, it charges so quick, I was a little bit afraid. I think he under tapped, so or over tapped, and now another blast burn. This lethal again, even to Mewtwo. Yep, yeah, half of its health. And then now, of course, it's just gonna confusion it down, which is fine with me because now I can just come in with Cresselia. And if he stays in, it's even better, but no, he swaps out, but I can swap out, and there's Weavile. I was so happy when I saw that, but I can't swap out, because Weavile has snow, attacks, and dark, so it's no good for neither of them. So, I had to say, but Weavile is so, so glassy. All I need to do is just get to another one. So I'm gonna shield this one, but it's Avalanche, so I thought it's gonna have, like, Foul Play or something. A dark attack. So I'm swapping out to just eat this one up which is going to one-shot it, but I'm shielding because um, I want to throw it, because this would take out Weavile, but I just want to get rid of the shield, because it has three shields, I mean two shields, sorry, but this way he used all of them up, and then now it's probably going to take out, because Weavile charges very quickly with the Avalanches, faster than Shifter, I think, or, or maybe it's equal, but um, it's going to one-shot it, but now I can come back in and just moon dust it down, and there goes Another, do you guys see how fast it charges? v is pretty good, but it's really glassy. You definitely need both of your um, shields for sure. So this will one-shot it no matter what, but it's super glassy. And then right now all we have is Mewtwo, so we won because we can tank this. And then the Moon Blast should be taken care of it. Yep, we can almost tank another one, by the way. But not, well, not with a confusion adding up. So this is actually pretty close, but good. And at this point, I still use Confusion, by the way, with my Cresselia, so the attack charge really slow. But I just swapped, uh, switched it over, so now it starts with Psy Strike, right? Is that what it is? Psy Cut. Psycho Cut? Yeah, I think so. Now we open Wee, Wee Hu Hung Ku. Did I say it right? So this is game three. Charizard leading again to Mewtwo. Armored Mewtwo. And just going for save for the Blast Burn. Just for the Blast Burn. Because it's so close to the Dragon Claw, by the way, it's just a half an energy more. So lots of people think that you're gonna throw either your baiting or you haven't gotten to Dragon Claw yet. So that's what I experienced. Because look, he didn't shield it, so I don't think he thought that I'm gonna throw the Blast Burn, or he didn't think that I got to the Blast Burn. So now on the, on, I wanted to swap on the charge move over to Cresselia, um, but it didn't work out, and they bring in their Giratina, so that's, that's good for me, by the way. Even though the Shadow Sneak does add up. But if I can debuff it, and if they don't shield, which I don't know why they didn't shield, that was, that was, I don't know why they didn't shield. They should have shielded, but shadow, well, they know that they're going to lose anyways, and they want to probably keep their, um, oh, that's right. The reason why they didn't, because they probably know that they can get to two uh, Shadow Snakes without shielding, and with shielding, they would get to two as well. And, but if he shields this one, yeah, he shielded this one. And it got the debuff. So now anything that it throws shift three will resist it even more. So that's awesome. Still a pretty good chunk, but again it's shift three. Now I'm definitely gonna have to shield that because it would one shot it no matter what. Shift three, I don't think was able to take that. And but now I can farm it down. I have tons of energy. And now watch this. Giratina, goodbye. Leaf blade. That's one charge move. Swampert, hi, how are you? Second charge move. And... Shield. 
Oh, you need more? Oh, there is a third charge move right there. Shift 3 is super amazing when you have energy advantage. Did you guys see that? That Swampert got one-shotted, also took out Giratina, Shift 3 for the saving, because it didn't even have a chance to throw one single Hydro Canyon. It was Shift 3 is that lethal if it has an energy advantage. So I've been trying to um, arrange my game around Shift 3, and I'm working on it to be best buddy as well, and I'm also not level 40, just level 38, so I'm a little bit disadvantaged on a 2300 CP, but it's gonna get better soon. But, um, oh, Charizard to Charizard, um, I just go with the Dragon Claws, it's faster, and either get a shield or a pretty good amount of damage. And one to swap on the charge move, because Cressilia can tank it, but even though it takes out a lot of health, so I shield it because I think it's a Blast Burn. I mean, Fire Blast, I didn't know, I, I did not know the paper run that. Um, you know, I guess he didn't have a community day one. But that's why I have my clone as well, my clone Charizard. It does nothing. So, so I just want to farm up, so I accidentally clicked on the charge move, I wanted to farm it down, but now I can still farm for a little. Yeah, this little mistake can cost you a lot, and this is not so great. So I'm just gonna try to debuff it at this point, so it, it doesn't hurt me as much. Or the next Pokémon that I bring in, but it didn't work. So now Charizard can destroy this, and can eat a Night Slash, for sure. Yep. I just form it down. Just forming it down. Oh yeah. And now I just go for the Blast Burn, right away, Blast Burn. And... They did not think that I got through a Blast Burn. Do you guys see that? That's what I'm literally talking about. They thought it's gonna be a Dragon Claw, so it didn't shield it for that reason. But nope, I always throw the Blast Burn. Well, now I might have to change it because you guys watched this video. <laughs> Anyways, thank you so much for watching, I hope you liked it, and I hope you're doing way better in Ultra League than I am, because besides this 9-1, I'm not going so hot. But let's hope I'm doing better now that I have a great team that I'm going with. And then also, guys, next Wednesday at 12.15pm, we have Lyndon Ryu on our podcast. And he was the number one player in GB, G I mean, Great Battle League last week. And he's always in the top 500 list and he winning tons of tournaments so make sure to check it out because i'm gonna pick his brain for a whole hour how to get better at go better league and at silverina so make sure to tune in because he's going to drop some knowledge so wednesdays 12 15 pm eastern time on this channel the third shield podcast thank you